Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy K-Boy back again with another video So today I'm walking y'all through how I did this vintage Burberry custom I don't know, I just wanted to, um, I just wanted like a vintage beat up shoe that, that was the whole mindset of going with this thing that gave me free reign to do that It's a huge pair of Air Force One So that's what made it even better Because like it was a huge one beat up So that's the vibe I was going for But So what you want to do though You want to acetone your shoes Acetone it real good Because like I said If you don't acetone it real good Then like the coffee It won't It won't It won't stick Or stain the shoe So like I said Just make sure you just go over it a couple times Acetone Top and bottom and all that Okay, so right here, what you want to do is get your tape, no matter what kind of tape you use. Right now, I'm using a, a Scotch Contractor Grade 2020. Get it for Home Depot, Amazon, whatever. Now, what you're going to do is place your tape all around the areas that you want to put your fabric at. Right now, I'm doing the toe cap. And make sure you get around the seams. Like, you can use your nail, get around the seams to make sure you get the best outline and then when you when you using the pen make sure you get close up to the edge Okay, so right here, we're going to rinse and repeat. We're going to do the same thing we did for the toe cap, but for the side panel. And make sure you mark off each section. For the toe cap, I wrote RT. That's right toe cap, you feel me? So when you cut them out, you don't want to um, get them mixed up. You put the, the right side shoe on the left side shoe, then that's all fucked up, and you got to recut everything. Yeah, so just make sure you label it so you won't go through that trouble. Alright, so now you want to get your coffee. I was doing a TikTok. Make sure y'all follow me on TikTok because y'all see everything. So, yeah, you want to get your coffee. It don't matter what coffee you got. Just grab your coffee and some hot water. And you don't need a lot of coffee like that. I don't know why I put all that coffee. A little goes a long way with the coffee. So, all you want to do is pretty much have your hot water, mix it up with your coffee, and leave your shoe in there. The longer you leave your shoe in there, the darker it will get. Me, I left it in there for about an hour. I didn't want it that dark for what I was going for. But like I said, if you want your darker, leave it in there longer for a couple hours. Okay, so after I let them soak for about an hour and achieve the color that I was looking for, I took them to the sink and I cleaned them out, you know, got rid of all the coffee grind, try to get the coffee smell out of the shoe. And then you go let them sit for about 24 hours to air dry after you rinse them out and everything. Okay, so after I waited my little 24 hours of letting the shoe dry, I got my fabric ready. So we are gonna use the outline that we made earlier. Make sure y'all cut around the edge. Don't cut into the line, just cut on the outside of the line. That way you could get you know the best fit possible. You will see me do it. And make sure y'all get y'all some uh, nice set of scissors. These came from Amazon fabric scissors. It was like three, three of them. But uh, yeah, make sure you cut around the edge, not into the uh, line. And you gonna have the best fit possible. So all I'm doing right here is making the holes for the rope laces. What you're gonna use is uh, a sanding stone and a journal. 
different many ways you could do it, but this the best way for me, and it's the way I like doing it, using adrenal. Now, I'm going to put the glue on there. You want barge Infinity Cement or you want barge Super Stick Glue. You do not want no E6000, none of that Gorilla Glue bullshit. You don't want that. If you want your customs and your fabric to stay on your shoe for a long period of time, use barge. The best in the game. They use it to re-glue sole. They even use it in the factory, so why not use it? Now that I added glue to both parts, all I'm gonna do is just stick it on there, pull the tape off, and get it fitted right. You might wanna use like a flathead screwdriver or something, they got a flathead so you can push the fabric inside the edges and the seams to get the uh, cleanest look possible. Now for the side panel, all we're gonna do is the same thing, rinse and repeat. Add the glue to both parts, stick it on there. Use your flathead screwdriver or anything to push it in the seams. And please make sure you take your time. Right here, I wanted to paint the uh, sock lighter black. To paint your sock lighter, all you're gonna do is mix a one on one ratio of uh, paint and uh, GAC 900. So, for example, use a scale, you want a gram of paint with a gram of GAC 900, then you mix it up. After you apply it, you will uh, heat set it for five minutes with a blow dryer to make your sock lighter back soft. So, right here, I decided to paint the uh, Nike swoosh black. So it can stand out and be different, you know, give it a little bit more of feel. Yeah. 